adding advantages and limitations to characteristics is the most complicated thing that we've done in this tutorial so far. Before I show you how to do that in Hero Calculator, let me say a little bit about what advantages and limitations are. Advantages and limitations are both modifiers. In the case of advantages, they are modifiers that in some way expand or improve um, the way that a, a characteristic or power works in the game. In the case of limitations, they are modifiers that in some way constrain, limit, or reduce the way that a characteristic or power works in the game. Advantages and limitations are both expressed in fractions. So one quarter, one half, three quarter, plus one, plus one and a quarter, and so on and so forth. Um, in the case of advantages, that fraction is a multiplier that increases the number of points that you allocate to a power. In the case of limitations, that fraction is a divisor that reduces the number of points that you allocate to a power. In order to show you how this works in the Hero Calculator, I'm going to be working with a couple of examples. For advantages, I'm going to be using the example of Freedom Star, who, like another patriotic hero that I can think of, can do this all day. And what that means is that Freedom Star is going to have a plus 2d6 to his strength, but he's going to have the advantage no endurance cost attached to that extra strength. See, in Champions, uh, when somebody uses their strength or power, they reduce a resource called endurance by a certain amount, which tires them out. But because we're attaching this advantage to this extra strength, Freedom Star won't have to expend endurance when he's using that extra strength in, in combat. For the case of limitations, we're, we're going to use the example of Ruby Ray. Ruby Ray is one of the sample characters that appears in the Champions Now rulebook. And she has a plus 6d6 to strength, which makes her quite superhuman in terms of that characteristic. However, she only has access to that additional strength while she's flying. So we're going to attach the limitation conditional only while flying. Okay. In the case of Freedom Star, the advantage no endurance cost is a plus one advantage. And in the case of Ruby Ray, the conditional only while flying limitation is a one half advantage. Um, in the hero calculator, that one half is expressed as a 0.5. All right, so let's jump into the hero calculator and see what this looks like. So here we are. Let's start with Freedom Star. Like I said, he's going to have plus 2d6 to strength. So we're going to enter 2 in column F, and that means that he'll allocate 10 points, right? The active points are 10 points allocated for those that plus two, so his total strength is 46. Now we have to add the advantage. So we're gonna go to the advantages column, which is column H, and we're gonna type in the advantage. No endurance cost. And something I like to do when I enter uh, an advantage or a limitation for that matter is to, in parentheses next to it, record the value. So now we've recorded the advantage, but entering it into column H doesn't do any of the math for us. In order for that to happen, we need to enter the total value of, of advantages into the advantages value column. So we'll go ahead and enter a one in that column, and you're gonna see that the 10 active points is going to double the 20 heightened points. We call them heightened points because they are heightened in number by the advantage value, right? And that's it. With that, we are done entering Freedom Star's power. We've attached the no endurance cost advantage to it, and that's all we have to do. Okay? It, the total uh, points allocated are 20. All right, so now let's work with Ruby Ray. I'm gonna delete all of my work for Freedom Star, and let's do Ruby Ray. So Ruby Ray, as I said, has plus 66 to strength. So we'll enter a six there. The active points, therefore, are 30. No advantage, so we don't enter anything there. So therefore, no advantage value either. And we have a heightened points, which are not heightened at all. They're just 30. They are the equivalent of the active points. Now we have to enter her limitation. And that was conditional only while 
flying. And that's a 0.5 uh, limitation. So I'll enter that there. But again, entering the 0.5 there doesn't actually figure anything for us. We have to enter the 0.5 into the limitations value column. So 0.5, and you're gonna see that the 30 total points are gonna be re reduced to 20. Again, the hero calculator does all the math um, when you enter the value into the appropriate column, right? And that's it. That's all you have to do for Ruby Ray. There's one more thing. There's no reason why Ruby Ray couldn't also have advantages in her power, right? So let's go ahead and give her the same advantage that we gave Freedom Star. So no endurance cost. Okay, that's a plus one value. We'll enter the one in the advantages column. All right, and you'll see that it, she has plus 66 to her strength, which is a 30 active point allocation. No endurance cost doubles that to 60 points. And then we apply the conditional only while flying. And that's a 0.5. And so those 60 points are reduced to 40. So that's it. That is how you enter advantages and limitations into the hero calculator. We are now ready to move on to powers. And the good thing is that knowing how to work with advantages and limitations here is going to be a great benefit when we're working with powers.